so excited. We're going to get a new case from Dr. Luke today. Oh, so exciting. I just love finding clues and evidence to solve the cases and discover more about God. Oh, Charlotte, it's so exciting, isn't it? Oh, well, we've got our case file here from Dr. Luke. Shall we have a little look and see what it is? Ooh. Oh, it says unsolved case file R for ready. Oh, I wonder what's inside that's going to help us. Oh, oh, Charlotte, it's all empty. There's nothing in there at all. What does it mean? R for ready. There's nothing to help us. Oh, well, would you, maybe the clues are around the office. We need to look for them. Glasses, have you? No, what? No, I've looked. I've looked there. No, what? Oh, oh! I'm wearing them. Oh, do you know? I just couldn't see them. They're right in front of me. Oh, well, today's story is all about not seeing what's right in front of you, and it's in the Bible, in the Book of Luke, chapter 17, in a passage called "The Coming of the Kingdom of God." Now, in Jesus's time, the people were watching. The people were waiting watching for the promised kingdom of God, for a saviour, God's own son. So they asked Jesus when the kingdom of God would come. Jesus, the son of God himself, was standing right in front of them, but they couldn't see it. And Jesus answered them, the kingdom of God does not come with your careful observation. In other words, just looking without being ready in their hearts was not enough but because the kingdom of God is in your midst, I am here. And the Pharisees' hearts were not ready to accept Jesus. And that's a bit like people before they accept Jesus into their life, have wonderful and unexplainable things happen. And they say, oh, what a coincidence. But those who believe and trust in God and Jesus see the truth and they say, God is good. So because Jesus came, God is in our midst. He is here. Now we know that God loves to speak to us in so many ways. And one way he loves to speak to us is through pictures, so no words at all. He likes to drop little thoughts or daydreams or imaginings inside our heads. And we can then make a piece of artwork out of it. And as we're going to do that in a moment, I'd love for you to continue to chat to God, asking him, oh, what is this picture about God? Who is it for? And is it just my imagination or is it from you? So we're going to do that in just a moment. We're going to get our hands out and ready. And then we're going to spend time asking God to give us a daydream. And it might just be a quick thought that drops into our heads or a colour or a shape or a pattern. Whatever it is, we're going to ask God to speak to us through it. So let's get our hands ready. And repeat after me if you wish to. Come, 
Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you that you love to talk to us. Would you drop into our minds a thought, a word or a picture? And help us to hear what it is that you are saying. just spend some time now just thinking and praying and chatting to God and see if God starts to draw something in your mind or you start to see a person or a colour. Just have a little think and then start to draw on your piece of paper what it is that's coming to your mind. Now if you found that there was nothing there at all, in fact you didn't think of anything, don't worry we can still draw things to do with God that we know is true so you might know that God is love and you want to draw that instead but we're going to keep on trying to hear God's voice and trusting that he is speaking to us and we can hear him but we just need to practice and keep on listening to him. Charlotte, how is it that you managed to find all those clues from Dr. Luke and I didn't notice any of them? Oh, well, do the clues were there. I know it's sometimes hard, but you just got to notice them. Uh, that's a bit like God is always here. He's always around us, but we just need to be on the lookout for what God is doing and saying and share that with others. Oh, yes, Charlotte. So we need to be ready, ready to see what God's doing around us right now and get ready for when he comes again. 